from the YouTube dojo where Dove Cameron likes to uh, dance every so often. It's weak out there, little Euler. And now a man who, oh, who am I kidding? He knows that Dove Cameron will never uh, dance in the YouTube dojo. <laughs> Ellie Cookie Mueller! Ha! We're going to uh, update. I'm Ellie Cookie Mueller, we're going to talk Alright, let's do it. I just got something else. I'll spec spider can't just spend it. One split it up with this, uh. With the whatever he does best. You know, come to your Jingle Scout with this, uh, Jingles, Crispy Chris, and CC Wind with, uh, random things. And Baby Lamb Crazy with this Baby Lamb and Friends and everything else. Now, uh, as you know, uh, you know, he doesn't uh, physically uh, make appearances on this uh, program anymore. However, I'm always going to support him because. He's been a good friend of mine. You know, he's a real. He's always a good friend of. He's always been a good friend of mine, and he's always cool, and he always has something. Something good for us to think about. All right. So, with that being said, I thank you so much, and you know, let's do this thing. All right, Adam, come over here, will you? We are. Alright, we're talking about Dove Cameron tonight. That's right. Dove Cameron, a woman from Disney who wants to branch out. Of course, the producers want to give her a sitcom. So, you know, she said that she is moving forward with her life, but her biggest accomplishments were Disney related. Now, I don't know if, uh, if she wants to succeed, excuse me, or not, it, because let's be honest, okay? You know, if all of her uh, achievements were, uh, her, if all of her achievements and her accomplishments are uh, go back to Disney, then I don't know how she can top those. But good luck. Now. Dove Cameron loves her fans. Adam, do you know who uh, Dove Cameron calls her fans? John Cena. No, this is what she calls her uh, her fans. Really attentive friends. Now let's now let's be honest, right? Her fan base is very big, and her fans are always ready to talk to her. You know, uh, if she has uh, something on her mind, or if she uh, screws up, or anything like that. Perfect friends, of course. Real friends never ask you for autographs, so... Or do they? I'm pretty sure that they, uh, that they don't. And if they did, then the, real, the next question you should ask is, are they really friends? The first question to, to, to ask is, are you their friend? Yeah. Let's do a top eight list. Ah uh, yes, this is the top eight things that Dove Cameron is doing right now, apparently. Number eight, rolling around in cash. Number seven, writing songs about social media. Number six, writing a letter to her favorite kid. I'll fold that you. Number five, answering another call from Disney with a solid no. Number five. Number four, uh, I swear to God, what are we, 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 big words? Audition. Uh, shut up. Auditioning to become the next host of Family Feud. Number three, trying to get some funding for the reboot of What's My Line. Yes. Number two, dancing to our own music. Number one, avoid like that. I've been a thing. cookie again by Al Gore and Ramsey did. You're going to deep fry it. You're going to deep fry it. Hey, I was saying something. Ah, you were anyway, getting too the Number one, avoiding late night talk shows like one. Like, like this one. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. so you are for losing your mind. So you're trying to fry it. 
I'm gonna fry him too. Let me back up to this. Did they see us? I hope not. Are they gone? I hope so. Nick at night, those TV classics, Nick at night, no fatty acids. Powerful TV. But you can count on Nick at night. People ask me, is that Empire carpeting really good stuff? Well, this carpet's from Empire, and it's going down in my own home. And I'm very proud of my home. Oh, sure, I got a break on the price, but knowing this business, I'd call Empire anyway, really. I mean, how can you beat getting good carpeting at a good price, and you never have to leave your house? Plus a free shampoo and credit terms if you want, with no installment payments for 60 days. Think about it. Then just call. 588 That's all you got to do. Did they see us? I hope not. Are they gone? I hope so. Nick at night, those TV classics, Nick at night, no fatty acids. Powerful TV. But you can count on Nick at night. Welcome back to the show, and yes, before you ask, we are still talking about Dove Camera. Now, you know, keep in mind that, you know, all the uh, Dove Camera fans, aka the uh, Dovelite, Dovelies, you know what, uh, love uh, Dove Camera uh, so much, alright? I'm not, uh, you know, making fun of her or anything like that, I'm just you know what, uh, telling you uh, some things about her that you might not know. With that being said, it's time for some talking time. Let's talk about it. BBC before you before your common era that was uh, when uh, people had other ways of communicating of course they didn't work so 808 and 804 in the a.m. p.m. one afternoon evening night time all time today the tickets are the licking dick stick bugged you might be asking, why am I yelling? Because I can. I walk about the talking time with Captain Kung E and whatever I am A. Let's now, go. What the fuck are we talking about? Dove Cameron. Who the hell is this Dove? Well, she is a former Disney star from the uh, Descendants uh, movie series, franchise. And the television program Liv and Maddie. I know. Pretty weird. Or, uh, I know. It's pretty uh, interesting. Interesting, but stay with us here, okay? Now, she recently did a song. Actually, she recently did a bunch of uh, 
a bunch of uh, so she recently recorded a bunch of songs, right? But one of them was was in her last single in uh, Remember Me, which was released in April. I right? she sings uh, about no shoes dancing around your living room, pulling off my t-shirt, putting on a show for you, we look good in black and white, blah blah blah, right? Talking about the uh, Polaroid pictures. But but it's actually a metaphor for her own growth. And that, How is it a metaphor for your growth? Well, actually, here's the thing, right? She's no longer Liv, Maddie, or Mal. It's the only character Cameron had, had left. Liv. The only character she had left to develop uh, is her own. And yet she has 36.9 million followers on Instagram. Okay. Now, here's what's interesting, right? She's only 24 years old, and Dove has already done things that some people have only dreamed of. Like, for example, she has an Emmy Award for her dual role as both Liv and Maddie for the show, on the show entitled Liv and Maddie, right? She was casted in the lead of Descendants. You know what? Actually, it's Descendants 1, 2, and 3 on Disney Channel, and she had a starring role in the off-Broadway production of Clueless. All these production bullshit. I, all I gotta say is great that this, that she's been in, but what has she done? What? Now, here's the thing, alright? You know what, she said she waited until after she was virtually done with Disney in order to start making uh, music. You know, her own music. Okay. Now, while I understand that, it's also kind of uh, odd considering the fact that, you know, she had been on uh, Disney for a long time. Since, actually, 2013. Okay, you're gonna call me stupid. But all I heard was she was in Disney since 2013. Thir 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 Guys, you know when your brain turns tur t turns off and you go do 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 do, do and then the wasting place? Yeah, that's me. Huh? How are you? Yeah. I I like tall males too. Big, small, right? I like the green ones. What, what am I doing? I'm, <laughs> I'm talking to myself. You know, last year she uh, did an album called Bloodshot Slash Waste. What? what? Yeah, that's one of the... Those were... Uh, um, Bloodshot was the name of the album and Waste was the song on the album. Okay. 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 Moving on from that, you know, because apparently you are getting a little confused. You know, she calls her fans really attentive friends. You know, she said, "I know that, I know that part of that following is a fan base that is incredibly kind to me, very lovely, very warm. I feel genuinely engaged with that fan base." Sometimes I'm surprised, I'm really surprised by their insight and surprised by the things they pick up on in me. It feel almost like really attentive friends. It blows my mind the care that some of my fan base is uh, put into just knowing about me and knowing the things to say to make me smile. Motherfucker, they're fans. What, do, what did you expect? In they like your bullshit so they're not the, so they're gonna say good things about you what you trying to say here well, and she said there are people that you'll probably never meet and if you meet them you'll you probably never get to know, know them. them right but they know you and they can actually know you a lot better than you think They only know the you that you can show. I no 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 that's some that that I know from experience. People will only know you 
for like to show. So if you show yourself in in your entirety, and yes, they know you. But if you don't, then they don't really know you. Understandable, understandable. All right. So, what do you think about Doug Cameron overall? Um, to me, it sounds like a person that says, "Wow, fans, why they're nice people to me." And yeah. They were born nice. Well, not born nice, but <laughs> it's in the work. Wait, wait, you? I'd say that the Doug Cameron's all right. You know, mm -hmm. I just... You know, there's one thing that I don't uh, understand is, you know, if Doug Cameron's done all these things, then how come she doesn't have uh, anything bigger than that? Because so far, uh, most of her accomplishments uh, came from Disney. Yeah, yeah. Like, it'd be uh, is like he always that. going to be a typecast for being a Disney, uh... Nah, watch it. She'll have some shit. You, you eat trash. Alright, folks, that is the show for the night. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, tomorrow night we're talking about Liam Neeson. And never probably now will be here. The Anthony Pente Show, Web Design 18, Lex Books, Emmanuel Gaffin, Michael Zycast, and Michael Kaylin, and that's actually so I give Vortex 723 VA Studios. Emotional Fireflies 97. She'll be here as well. Uh, whatever. And a new cast member by the name of Plumber J2 Exclamation Mark. From exclamation point. You know, they're all going to be here. They're really cool people and. They're going to really love uh, what they're going to do tomorrow. All right. So that's the news. I'm out, Keith. Farewell, bye, farewell. Nick at night, those TV classics. Nick at night, no fatty acids. Powerful TV.